to always make explicit mention of Jerusalem when one explains uh, um, like uh, solidarity activities uh, it is not enough to just speak about uh, the occupation or the settlements uh, because uh, in, 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 in like the wider uh, public uh, perception unfortunately Jerusalem has become uh, a separate a separate agenda if you look at the lives of Palestinian families a lot of their daily uh, um, thinking and, and dealing with issues revolves around how to protect their uh, existence. The land, the, 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 the territory has been under full Israeli control basically since 1967. They, they can plan and develop the city the way they want. So that uh, on the one hand you have all this construction going on in East Jerusalem, not only the settlements per se, but also like the infrastructure, the roads uh, that have completely changed uh, the way East Jerusalem looks. It doesn't look anymore really like a Palestinian city. You have these Palestinian enclaves uh, in East Jerusalem, but big portions of it look like uh, as if it was Israel and that's the way the traffic moves, that's the way uh, um, basically all of the services are run. So uh, that is like this expansion of, uh, of this whole uh, settlement enterprise in the widest meaning of, of the term. And then we have uh, yani related, of course, uh, uh, the various forms of attacks on, on Palestinians uh, in terms of like undermining uh, the Palestinian identity of those who live in, uh, in Jerusalem, especially among the young people. The main body of resistance is this routine, very like silent, not visible kind of uh, uh, trying to, to to stay in Jerusalem despite all of the uh, all of the obstacles, we have to make the specific, the various like solidarity activities uh, more relevant for Jerusalem. And there we don't lack uh, opportunities and targets in Jerusalem, uh, but uh, we haven't really looked into this enough.